Hey guys, it's Melanie and today I have a somewhat exciting video to share with you guys. I am going to be doing a series where I'm going to be showing you my entire makeup collection and I'm dividing it up by different um, like products. So today's video is all of my eyeshadow palettes. Now these are eyeshadow palettes that have more than four eyeshadows in them basically. <laughs> so. Um, I'm going to be doing this throughout my entire collection, so I'm going to be showing you all of my blushes, all of my eyeshadow singles, all of my lip products, and um, face products, things of that nature. And the reason for doing this series is so that I can have it to look back and sort of reference, because in the spring, I'm going to be doing another big purge video. And... Um, what my goal is in all of this is to continue to cycle out products that I'm not using, that I'm not in love with, and to be able to pass them on to um, my nieces who really do enjoy playing with makeup. Um, I've had a couple of people suggest that I donate to a local women's shelter, um, but I like being able to sanitize the products and give them to my nieces. Um, I know that they appreciate them and... Um, so I, I personally choose to do that. Um, I think it is wonderful when people do donate. Um, but for me, I think it's kind of a fun, um, it's a fun way for me to connect with both of my nieces. And I just, I like to see the smiles on their faces when they um, get giant bags of makeup from me. So um, that is what, um, what I'm going to be doing in the spring. So today's video is all of my eyeshadow palettes. I, I'm, I'm looking around because I have them all in piles in front of me. So I'm trying to go as much as I can by brand. And I'm going to start out with the pile um, here where I only have like one palette from, this partic from a particular company. And then the rest I have kind of stacks from different companies, if that makes sense. So this video is going to be long, so grab a cup of coffee now. Um... I'm not going to be doing swatches. Um, I will give just kind of a brief description whether I um, uh, really love the palette or whether it's something that I'm kind of on the fence about. And I'm going to be working very hard cycling out my eyeshadow palettes once a week so that I can get through all of these in the next however many weeks it takes me to get through all of these. And that way when I do the purge, um, I know whether I'm, I just need to like get rid of it because I'm not enjoying it um, or if I'm going to keep it because it really is something that I enjoy. Okay, what a long explanation. First, let's get started with the Bare Minerals The Magic Act palette. Now, this is also a blush palette, but I'm calling it an eyeshadow palette because there's more eyeshadows and there are blushes. The blushes are down here. Um, this is just a great collection overall, and I like this one for traveling, like when I'm going up to my parents. So this is one that I know that I love, and I, you know, I could not get rid of because I think it's just really, um, it's great quality, and I just enjoy this a lot. So another one that I already know that I love is the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Tamana palette. So um, I did not get the. Maya Mia or the um, Amrezi or Amrezi palette, but I did get this one and I like it a lot. I use this quite a bit during the month of December. The Balm, I don't have any other palettes from The Balm, which kind of surprised me because I really do like this eyeshadow brand. This is the Shady Lady Volume 2. This was my favorite out of all of the ones that they came out with. And you can see I've actually hit pan on Devilish Danielle down here, so I really like that one a lot. Um, this has just been a good palette to me overall. I actually bought this when the bomb was still being sold at, was it Sephora? I think it was Sephora. I've had that for a while. This is one that I'm actually kind of on the fence about. It's the NYX Butt Naked Eyes. They also have one, I think that's called Turn the Other Cheek, and it's an eyeshadow palette, but it also does have some face products in it. Oh, gosh. Okay. So, here's the face products, and then here is the, <laughs> sorry, the eyeshadow collection here. Um, the quality on these is not the greatest, um, so I just need to use it and decide whether I want to keep it or just pass it along to the girls. So, um... I have not reached for this in a very long time. 
this is a recent acquisition and then this was free <laughs> Um, so this is really exciting for free, um, but it's the Paula's Choice Nude Mattes Eyeshadow Palette. I received this free with an order when I spent a certain amount, and um, Paula's Choice actually did this in collaboration with Wayne Goss uh, from YouTube. <laughs> so these are some really great uh, matte shadows here, and I've used them quite a bit, and I really do enjoy them. So this will probably be a keeper. This is the Laura Mercier Pro Artist Palette for Eyes. This was the 2013 Holiday Edition. Um, this will never go anywhere. I love this sucker. And um, I was not as impressed with this year's, but um, I didn't actually get it. But these I thought were absolutely stunning. And um, I just love this palette overall. It's just a bunch of plums and taupes and beautifulness. Okay, I'm going to set these down on the ground here. Move on to the next pile. Tarte. Okay, this is the Tarte Flower Child palette. I hit some major pan on one of these colors, but I frankly have not used many of the other colors at all. The reason being is that this was from back when um, Tarte shadows really weren't the greatest quality. These were not the Amazonian clay eyeshadows that she puts out now in her different collections, but um, this is one that I'm on the fence about. It's probably, frankly, one that I should get rid of. It does have a really nice brush in it. Uh, it also has a long-wearing eyeliner, which I don't think is that long-wearing, but we'll have to see about this one. This one I love. This is when the eyeshadows became the Amazonian Clay eyeshadows. Um, I think it was actually a couple of palettes before this particular one, but the quality is vastly improved. It also has two blushes, one of them being exposed, and the other one I think is Free Will. I don't know, they're both really pretty. Um, but I just, I do really enjoy this palette overall and I have pulled it out a couple times this last year and um, the colors are very wearable, just great every day. So that's a keeper. This is one that, this is, this is one I struggle with. I actually use this to like hold up my camera to like raise it up a little. This is my tripod, people. I don't know if I can get rid of this. Um, so this had, this was a holiday collection from, I believe, either two or three years ago. And man, does this thing suck. These eyeshadows are terrible. Sorry, I might blind you. This was called The Big Thrill. And this also came with some glosses, which clearly I have not used. I just need to take the glosses. Oh, they're starting to separate. I'm going to have to see if those glosses are any good anymore. Those may just need to go. And then it also did come with some cheek products. Um, I have used the cheek products quite a bit. Um, you know, because I constantly have this sitting out on my vanity, it's very easy for me to just pull this little drawer out and get some blush and put it on. But the eyeshadows, just not great. Not great at all. But, and this is, oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> no one should ever come out with packaging this large. Okay. So that's the tarts, the tarts, the tart eyeshadows. Um, Urban Decay. I've got the classics here. Naked 2, Naked 3, Naked Original, Naked Basics 2. Naked Basics, the original, did not appeal to me. We all know what these look like. I love all three of these palettes. I can't imagine not having them. Back when I used to do makeup for um, bridal and boudoir photography, I had all three of these in my kit, um, and um, they were really great to have. So this is Naked 2 here, and then I'm sure we've all seen Naked 3. I actually have duplicates <laughs> of all three of these um, from when I took my kit apart and stuff, and those were things that I didn't really pass on because I, I don't know, I wanted to keep them just in case. I wanted to do makeup on friends and stuff, so I kept all of the duplicates of those ones but that's these are from my collection here um and then this i just love the naked basics too um i don't i can tell you that these will not go anywhere i do need to be a little bit more diligent about using them <laughs> so those need to go on the list to use okay let's talk kat von d i have two of her eyeshadow palettes i have the poetica which frankly, I don't think I have, I've used maybe twice. I need to use this a little bit more frequently. I really do like the colors in here. They're very pretty. 
very soft, very pigmented, very creamy. And this is probably one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. This is the Ladybird eyeshadow palette. This is now discontinued. Um, but this is all mattes, and they're stunning, gorgeous, beautiful mattes. So these are all just magic. I love them all. This won't go anywhere. I love to use that one in the fall. Let's talk Stila. <laughs> So from Stila, I have this four pan compact that I created by, my, by myself, for myself. It has some of the Stila singles in there and they're mostly just like taupey colors. I don't reach for this nearly as often as I should because they're great quality and um, they're fantastic. So this is the Stila Backstage Eyeshadow Palette. Um, this was from a few years ago really pretty unique colors cheap ass packaging like this is like it's just like full on like cardboard like they didn't even try I mean there's not even a mirror probably still paid 30 bucks for it <laughs> steal it in the know I love this one what is that glare oh that's from the car down there sorry is that annoying um it's annoying me <laughs> uh this is all mattes I really like this uh, the older I get, the more I appreciate the matte eyeshadows of the world. I think that they are great for ladies who are getting along in their years. I like this guy. I'm 36, by the way. Depressing. Wow, I've hit some major pan on this guy. Oh, this has kitten in it. I love kitten. Okay, so this is the uh, Live from the Red Carpet Stila palette. I got this at Ulta probably two years ago and you can see what I don't like about this is that they put a cream uh, convertible color lip and cheek thing in here and it that just never works out I don't know why companies do that <laughs> keep them separated um, but clearly I loved this color right up here what was that called cinema oh that's so pretty and then Academy there's just there's some great colors in here I do need to use this one more often it's really pretty and it's one that I could actually see myself finishing because the eyeshadows are pretty small I should get on that this is one of my favorite Stila eyeshadow palettes this is the pro artist palette number one and the packaging on this one totally sucks too but just gorgeous colors whoops <laughs> extremely creamy just very very pretty um crappy crappy packaging like you have to like fold oh, you have to like fold this little thing back under this little tab it's a goddamn nightmare so that's how it, that goes together okay uh oh I have two sleek palettes and I have the sparkle palette now these I really don't reach for very much, um, especially this one. I think this is one that I already know that I'm probably maybe going to pass along to the girls. Um, this one would probably be good for uh, like Halloween type makeup, but I'm just not one to do Halloween looks. So um, they are extremely creamy and pigmented and beautiful, but just the sparkly nature of all of these and like the intensity of the colors just not really practical for everyday Melanie. Oh my, look at the lines on my face. Okay, hang on. I'm going to adjust the blinds here. <laughs> Hopefully that's better. Okay. Um, so yeah, the sparkle palette, I don't even know if I'm going to bother trying this one just because it's, it's a little bit out of my comfort zone. Uh, and I like a smoky eye clearly, but um, it's just a bit much. Now this one is extremely pretty. It does have some really deep blues, grays, and purples. I may actually keep this one. Um, this is the Bad Girl palette. So I'm going to try it. See what I think. I know that Sleek has some more neutral palettes. These were a gift from somebody. That sort of makes it hard for me to get rid of them. However, I feel like my nieces would get probably a good amount of use out of these not that I think that they should be wearing colors that are like this crazy and intense but you know just to kind of like play with and stuff so we'll see we shall see this is the point of all of this looking at it trying it and seeing whether it's worth keeping or passing on let's do some cargo 
Man, am I sad that cargo is so difficult to find in the U.S. now. It used to be sold at um, Sephora. I believe it's still being sold at Ulta. It may have been discontinued at Ulta as well. I do know you can still get it from the cargo website. Most of these were purchased from either Sephora or Ulta. I have the cargo. This was just um, like a neutrals palette. The cool neutrals. So I really like that a lot. To actually pull that out. This is one I'm not sure about. This is the Plant Love from Targo from Cargo. Um, I got this at Ulta. I think it was like two, three years ago. I've hit massive pan on one of them, but frankly, the rest of them, the quality wasn't as good on these as some of their other eyeshadows. So um, this is one that I'm pretty sure is going to end up being passed along. I mean, there's some really great neutrals in there, but I just don't, I don't love the formula of these. The Cargo Hands of Hope. These are nine Eastern inspired eyeshadows. So that's what that looks like. Very pretty. I need to use this one more often. Gorgeous colors in this one. The Cargo Runway Palette. This has blushes and er, blushes and uh, bronzers and eyeshadows. So you can see that this one actually has a full one of these quads in there, but it's more of like the grays. This is a very odd configuration <laughs> of things here. Um, this one just always kind of baffled me. I mean, I was intrigued by it because there are some pretty colors in here, but nothing in here really makes sense together. So it's a little random, but it's fun. I do like this palette. I need to take this one out from time to time and use it. And this is the Cargo Lum Lumineers Du Monde palette. That's so French. And this is what this looks like. It's basically cheeks, a cheek product in the middle and then eye products around. Very pretty. I need to use this. Oh, and it says um, light in a bunch of different languages. <laughs> oh man, that sucks. <gasps> Nothing was damaged. That, that's a miracle. <laughs> anyway, wow, that scared the crap out of me. I thought that was gonna shatter one of these eyeshadows. Anyway, it says light in like different languages in the back. That did not matter to anyone. Okay, uh, Too Faced. Let's talk Too Faced. Okay, uh, this was a 500 point perk from Sephora, and this is the Too Faced I Love palette. So basically just a bunch of different eyeshadows from their different um, uh, eyeshadow collections that came in these crazy boxes. So there you go, that's what that looks like. Um, I, I mean, this is a great little like sampler. That's not bad, it's small. Here is the Naked Eye from Too Faced. I really hated this packaging. So bulky, but pretty eyeshadows. I actually use this quite frequently um, in my professional kit as well. I had one for my kit, and um, I gave the one from my kit away. I also had the Smoky Eyes one. Um, these are actually pretty great. They're good quality, um, so I, I don't see myself getting rid of this, even though the packaging just annoys the crap out of me chocolate bar. I have no interest in getting the semi-sweet. I just don't like the shades in the semi-sweet, but this one I love. This I just think is absolutely stunning. And I've used this quite a bit. And I like it. And it smells like chocolate. <laughs> a few of my favorite things. I love this. This is eyeshadows and it is um, cheek products as well. This was the 2013 holiday collection from Too Faced. It also came with a lip product as well as some mascara, but there is what that looks like. A lot of you got this, and I love it, and um, I don't see this going anywhere. The eyeshadows in here are beautiful. This one I like. However, one, the package, this is ridiculous. Like, do you guys see this? 
This is, it's so silly. The packaging is so silly on this, but um, there are some good eyeshadow eyeshadows in here. I just need to use them more, and the blushes are nice, and they actually have a little protective cover over the um, lip products, but frankly, at this point, I don't think I would use these lip products, but if I use this consistently, I could probably get through a good chunk of these eyeshadows. This might be worth, um, you know, using for a couple weeks just to like really see if I like it or not. The packaging is, I mean, it's, it's so it's ridiculous, but it is pretty. Um, do you guys remember when they came out with this way like flowery, glittery, over? Uh, frankly, I like this type of packaging better. Just to the point, <laughs> convenient. This just doesn't scream convenience. It screams beautifulness over overdoing it ness. <laughs> I guess this was called, sorry, the In Your Dreams palette. And then I have this one. This one I think was like from three, maybe four years ago. I didn't want to say it was four years ago. It's the Enchanted Glamourland. Again, another one where it's like so pretty. I mean, it kills me. It's like, oh my God. It's like a, what do you call these things? Like, I don't know what these are called. Let me know down below if you know what the, these pop-up things are called. Stella has books like this. <laughs> so there's two cheek products in here, the Sun Bunny bronzer and then a blush. Um, and then the fun part is that it, this pulls out. There were, there was a cheek product as well as I believe a primer potion in here, but those have all been used up. But these are the eyeshadows. The eyeshadows really are good quality. Um, they're a little bit more out there. However, um, they're fun to play with, so I'll probably end up keeping this, um, because the, I don't know, it's one that I need to, like, maybe think about because it is just kind of a bit much to store. <laughs> I mean, it's like a freaking book. It is. It's, it's a book. Okay. How are we doing? One more pile left, and it's my favorite pile. Do you guys know what's coming? Lorac. Let's talk about it. Lorac eyeshadows are my favorite. They have been long before they were like a huge deal on YouTube. Um, Lorac used to be sold at Sephora and I used to just every like eyeshadow palette that she came out with at Sephora, like I usually always bought. Okay, let's start with this one. This I don't know the name of this one, but it's actually a pretty good one. I believe it's maybe like the Platinum Palette, but oh, beautiful blush, fun eyeshadows, uh, not practical colors, but um, just her beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow formula. I love the formula of Lorac eyeshadows. I really do. So um, there's that one. This one, um, I believe it was called the Private Affair Palette, and um, the packaging on this one is way over excessive. It has a little drawer that pulls out here, and it came with this, wait until you see this brush. When I saw this, I was like, what the hell is this? What is anyone, this is like an eyeshadow brush duo for like a Barbie doll. Eee, so tiny. <laughs> Never actually used that. Also came with one of her behind the scenes eye primers. That is long used, used up. And then here are the eyeshadows. Sorry, there we go. Let's do that. So very pretty um, plums mostly. Uh, great neutrals, taupes. Just gorgeousness. And extremely bulky. This is also one of my favorite palettes. This was called The Little Black Book. I really like this. Um, beautiful baked eyeshadows, just stunning, and um, I love these during the summer. When I run out of these someday, like I will genuinely be sad because they are just insanely pigmented and beautiful, and I, I just love this. It also came with a behind-the-scenes eyeshadow primer, long used up. Lorac Pro, the original. We all have this, right? Here we go. This is the one eyeshadow palette out of everything that I'm showing you here. If you're going to be 
asking me like what is if I can only have one what's the one that I should have it's always going to be this one ever since this came out I was like yes this is it row of matte neutrals row of shimmers with you know small pops of like neutral colors it's perfection um if you don't have a high-end eyeshadow palette in your collection this is the one that you should invest in just get it you will not regret it I love this one I love it I also have the Lorac Pro 2 so um it's just gray instead of black but these colors are a lot more neutral and there's just some gorgeous taupes in here oh this is so pretty yes um, I think that you should also get this one <laughs> just kidding I feel bad like saying that but I really do think like these two together are super fun mm -hmm. you could just have yourself a really great collection with these two I love them both okay unzipped this is like one of those palettes that like people were really excited about it when it first came out and then they were like Mah, moving on um because it's kind of boring in a way but it's just a bunch of amazing rose gold eyeshadows and they're so pretty um i really actually highly recommend seeking this one out like i really do i don't use it nearly as much as i should but it is stunning um, there are mattes in here, there are shimmers, and um, there's a good highlight color. There is just all sorts of just beautifulness going on here. So um, the Lorac Unzipped, this will never leave my collection. This was a limited edition. This was called the Mint Edition Cheek Palette. Sorry, the um, little tag on the back here is like see-through, and so it's hard to whatever this has cheek and eye products <laughs> I got this last year and um I think I bought it off of like it was the Lorac website um by the way the Lorac website has like a VIP sale section where you can get a lot of discontinued products um and I bought this off of there it's this is amazing I really like this it has a gorgeous mint color that I like to use in the springtime. But these two, uh, the cheek and then the uh, luminizer are just gorgeous quality. This whole thing is great. If you can still find this somehow, somewhere, eBay, whatever, and you're like, hey, I think I would like that, you probably really would. <laughs> the quality is there and um, it's just a very kind of interesting combination of cheek and eye products and I like it. And then the last is the Lorac Pro Mega. Um, I love this. I am very glad that I got it. Uh, I know that Lorac handled the release of this very poorly, but I'm glad that I was able to get my hands on mine, and um, I will always have this. I just, I, I love this collection of colors in here. So many great neutrals. Um, in fact, I am wearing, I am wearing everything on my eyes today is from this palette. Usually if you're going to ask me like, what's on your eyes? A lot of times going to be this <laughs> because I've just had this out on my desk ever since I received it. So, okay, Whew. let's, let's wrap it up here. Those are all of my eyeshadow palettes. Um, I have a lot to go through and a lot to think about here because I really don't want to keep everything that is sitting on this desk right now. That is crazy excessive and frankly if I'm not reaching for it, if I'm not using it, if I'm not enjoying using it, then it's time to pass it along. So um, during my weekly beauty baskets I will be pulling out one of these a week and just using that exclusively. And if at the end of the week I'm like, ugh, <laughs> it's going to go in the go pile. And then hopefully in the spring there will be a video where I can be like, here's what I'm getting rid of. And that's going to be really amazing. So um, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed and um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.